Mm. It's pretty early in the morning, but with the steam coming up off the water and the sun rising up over the mountains, it's well getting up for, isn't it? I'm at the vacation home of Elizabeth and Chuck Wallace, who fell in love with the Adirondacks years ago, with the big lodges, the lake activities, the mountains. But they're from Atlanta, Georgia, so it was always a big trek. So when they decided to build their Adirondack vacation home, they came here to Lake Raven, Georgia. And right now, there's a crispness in the air, the leaves are changing, and I can smell a fireplace. Winter's coming, and for me that means one thing, fattening up. This is Elizabeth Wallace, here's Chuck, and we're making breakfast, and it's a good breakfast, isn't it? What are we making? Well, today we're having eggs and grits and bacon okay. and sausage, and I'm going to make a mess right here with these. How long have you had this property? This has been in your family for some time. Since 1940. Wow! And this isn't the, this isn't the same structure, though? There was a home that was built in 1921 here that we tore down in 1993 hmm. and uh, rebuilt this structure. Did you have to rebuild it? Yes, we did. The other one was in pretty bad shape. Yeah. So. The old home was called Camp Cherokee? Yes, it's yes. Cherokee Rose. Cherokee Rose. And this one is called? Camp Dancing Bear. Camp Dancing Bear. Elizabeth and Chuck have been together since eighth grade. Elizabeth, tell them the story. Tell them the story. It's really well, I asked him to a Sadie Hawkins dance in eighth grade, and he said yes. And so we went out that one time and didn't date again until our senior year in high school. But did you love her? You were in love with her, weren't you? Me at yeah. first sight. When you were 15, you loved her, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> <You're with her. laughs> no, a Sadie Hawkins dance for the people that don't know is a dance where women, our young girls at the time, can ask boys to the dance. So that's what she did. And then you really started seriously when uh, high school. Right. They've been together that long. These eggs are going to be good. I can tell. <laughs> They're mixed very well. Do you like? Do you like it with a little more milk? No, that's perfect. This is good? Okay. I think that's perfect. All right. I think we're ready to fry them up then. Who is the architect of the home? Michael Bird out of Saranac Lake, New York. Mm -hmm. He does a lot of uh, homes around. As a matter of fact, he's done them in Alabama, a lot of in upstate New York, Colorado. And he does the Adirondack style? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very is, good at it. How would you describe that? I think it's a very natural look with mm -hmm. logs and a lot of timber and wood. What would you think, Chuck? How would you add to that? I would agree. It's kind of a real natural looking. And you've been around in this area for all your life, right? My whole life. How do you like it? I Where love it up here. Sam, I don't know if you noticed our table, but normally we do not have breakfast here. We play poker. This is our poker table. And we've got little drink holders. And oh, get it's a table out. Of from This was all hand carved. Too. Really? Mm -hmm. So from a local artist, furniture mm. maker. Beautiful. A lot of your furniture looks very handmade by local artisans, aren't is it? Or? And basically it's the same guy, his name's Dwayne Thompson, and Dwayne lived, grew up in this area and made a lot of our furniture mm -hmm. that we have here. Including and this table? And very talented, yes, and he loves to do the carving. Does Jet do dishes? He's been known to get a plate pretty clean. He can, uh, he can lick just about anything off of a there plate. You, go. you know, Sam, we do try to discourage people from feeding him at the table. <laughs> Yeah, don't look at me like that. It's because of you that I'm doing this. <laughs> Elizabeth, why don't you show me around? Okay, I'd love to. Where should we start here? Fireplace number one. We have the roaring fire. Oh, it really That's is just roaring. just for you. <laughs> <laughs> what is that painting? This is a painting that we had done. Um, we found a picture up in the Adirondacks and it was called The Dancing Bears. And we brought it home and showed it to an artist that lives around here. And, and this was her rendition of the dancing bears. So, you Did you some, name the place after the painting? or We actually named the place after Chuck's grandfather, who was known as the Old Bear. The Old Bear. And with the painting and the, his name, the Old Bear, we just decided Camp Dancing Bear was perfect. Aww. You know, as what can I say? We love the bears. Yeah chandelier the which chandelier. is unbelievable they're dancing on the chandelier they're dancing in the fire and they're dancing all over the house how did you get it in there well actually chuck had to take a window out and a wall 
to be able to bring the piece in because it was so big. And what's the significance of this bear? He looks very friendly. He is a friendly bear. We had this painting commissioned by Lin Linda Chapman, an artist in Florida, and he is wearing the Wallace plaid. It, this is the hunting plaid he has on. Do you have a name for the bear? No. No. We haven't named him. Do we need to name him? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> He's just old bear. Yeah. <laughs> And I love these baskets. Are they fishing baskets? They're actually picnic baskets that you put in the guide boats up in the Adirondacks. And they have flat bottoms, so they sit straight up when mm -hmm. you're paddling. And what is that? Yeah, this is my favorite piece, too. This is one of our early pieces that we got. And an artist painted this. I, actually, I think he bought these up in New York. Mm. And there's one on that side as well. Mm -hmm. And he built the piece around these paintings. But the doors are always open, it seems like. What is this? This is a horn writing box, mm. and it opens up and has inlaid oh. ivory around it with the leather. Beautiful. And this was a gift, actually, to Chuck. And that's what the ink wells are in here. Who plays the musical instruments? Chuck does. He plays the banjo and the guitar and a little bit of the piano. He plays the banjo? Yes. Will he play for me? Oh, I hope so. Oh, let's go find him. OK. You go that way, I'll go this way. All right. Looking for Chuck. You just love how I just barge in. He's not here, but this is their master bedroom. Great big fireplace with, I don't know what that animal is, but it's big, big bed. But my favorite, the eyebrow window. Oh, just warms my heart. I'm gonna have many of those in my home when I build it, if I ever build one. The bed is by Dwayne Thompson, of course. Imagine if they never met Dwayne, they would have no furniture. Uh, he put this Indian belt, hand carved it into the edge of this bed, and that represents the mountains. Here's the family, the house, and the three kids. The walls are walnut. Um, the ceiling is also wood painted green, so it really gives it that cabin like feel. But to really experience the cabin like feel, we have to check out the bathroom. Look, the wallpaper is birch bark, and over here at the vanity, more birch bark. Love this antler handle, little rosette pulley. Even their razor is a twig, and their toilet is an old stump they found down. Don't even look, because I was kidding. Here's a half bath. I love the big mirror. Welcome to Camp Dancing Bear. And see the sleeping bears there resting? I got up so early this morning, I need to bear nap myself. The Wallaces have a lot of art around their home, uh, especially right here in the stairwell. Indian art, cowboy art. I love the one of the mischievous bears there. But I think their biggest piece of art is this staircase. This is white cedar. Would you believe that there is no drywall in this entire home? Why was I coming downstairs? Oh, Chuck! Did you find him? No, he's not up here. Why don't you try the boathouse? These are wooden guide boats. Chuck is really into boats. The Wallace's home has a large wraparound porch that you can sit up on and just look at the beautiful lake. Ooh, another boathouse. That's where the Chuckster is. Hey Chuck, could you play the banjo for me? How many boats does this man have? Whew, swanky. Oh, I hear him. I found you. What are you doing? Oh, cleaning up the boat. Really? How do you figure that? Well, Paris, how are we doing? Just fine. I'm almost finished. See? You know, I've never seen hardwood floors in a boathouse before. Well, we probably went a little bit overboard. At least my mother thinks so. But it makes it look sort of like a museum to show the boats better. Beautiful. Well, you know, you. I don't know too much about boats, but I do know, I mean, or I have heard that um, you really should take them out. I mean, you know, they really should be run, don't you think? I, I should definitely take them out. Would you like to go for a ride? I would love to. Should I get in this one? No, let's get in the other. Oh. 
It's ready. Paris is still working on this one. This is beautiful, just beautiful. Do you come out here a lot with Elizabeth? Yes, in the evenings we do. It's 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 nice, you know, cocktail cruising and all. It's wonderful. Oh yeah, bring a bottle of wine, moonlight. It's a wonderful place. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I have, thank you. But listen, I saved the best for last. Really? I have a little special thing for you. It's uh, first time visitors, you know. We have this little <laughs> special thing called Wallace Water. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, but but it's mountain it, it'll water. It'll be a, it'll be a nice treat. Okay. <laughs> It's been a great day. I hope you enjoyed it. I have. <laughs> She's fit right on the camera.